uh, jump, jumping right into uh, the word today. It's I find these times on Thursday is good and peaceful and the house quiet and, and able to just kind of speak and um, today I'm actually just looking for the word, looking to go in and and find what, what I would say that refuge today, that opportunity to, you know, some of the words is more from devotion. Uh, I, I was watching earlier of uh, being a light. And then, of course, I think the other opposite of that is finding your rock. So today uh, we'll be reading in Psalm chapter 71. Love Psalms. I love going through and, and, and reading just some of the, the words of prayer and um, petition. So Psalm 71, verse 1, starting in. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, rescue me and deliver me. Turn your ear to me and save me. Be my rock of refuge to which I can always go. Give the command to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of those who are evil and cruel. Starting in verse 5, Psalm chapter 71. For you have been my hope, sovereign Lord, my confidence since my youth. From birth I have relied on you. You've brought me forth from my mother's womb. I will ever praise you. I have become a sign to many. You are my strong refuge. My mouth is filled with your praise, declaring your splendor all day long. Verse 9. Do not cast away when I am old. Do not forsake me when my strength is gone. For my enemies speak against me. Those who wait to kill me conspire together. They say, God has forsaken them. Pursue him and seize him, for no one will rescue him. Do not be far from me, my God. Come quickly, God, to help me. May my accusers perish in shame. May those who want to harm me be covered with scorn and disgrace. I love that. And, uh... It's a forever petition and prayer each day. Um, some of us forget that. I, I try to remind myself that each day is a new day. And if it's something where I maybe feel a certain type of way about some things, you know, some things, just for example, if you're on a bad day, your reactions to most things may be bad. So when I'm presented those, those reactionary um, feelings from others and, and just, I know it's my place to be a calm mind, of sound mind, to try to respond, but we're not perfect. And and I pray, you know, God keeps me in his strength for the rest of my life. So each day I pray, and, and as we're reading here in Psalms, you know, do not let my enemies um, come get me. Do not let them uh, secede, Lord. And you pray that even in your old age, that you have that strength. And it may not even be old age, you know, talking literally. So in 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, um, it may be in your upwards of your early, your late 20s. Uh, so you've had that youth and pronoun effect to you know, keep succeeding. You get win after win after win. Um, that, that tapering of just effort and just time it takes to do and complete things may become more apparent as you get closer in age to that more middle age. So you pray, you say, God, um, I'm going into my thirties. I pray for this new chapter in my life. Um, I pray, you know, as a millennial that some of the distractions of the world don't get a hold of me. Um, I reflect recently just of the station I'm at in life and, you know, God's will, it, it keeps going, God's will, it doesn't. So it is the case where, you know, you are moving forward each day in your own will and your own power um, to a certain extent, and then you have to rely on God and his will to get things done. Psalm chapter 71, verse 14, as for me, I will always have hope. I will praise you more and more. The next page. My mouth will tell of your righteous deeds, all of your saving acts all day long, though I know not how to relate them all. I will come and proclaim your mighty acts, sovereign Lord. I will proclaim your righteous deeds, yours alone. Since my youth, God, you've taught me. And to this day, I declare your marvelous deeds. Even when I am old and gray, do not forsake me, my God. 
till I declare your power to the next generation, your mighty acts to all who are to come. Love that. So I'm going to be proclaiming, and even this is kind of where I'm starting now, to the next generation that God is the one and only way and, and Jesus Christ is the way to get to your next level. Um, next generation needs to know that. And, and I, I am happy to continue sharing that, even if it's just reading excerpts from the Bible. Verse 19, Psalm chapter 71. Your righteousness, God, reaches to the heavens. You have done great things. Who is like you, God? Though you have made me see troubles, many and bitter, you will restore my life again. From the depths of the earth, you will again bring me up. You will increase my honor and comfort once more. I will praise you with the harp for your faithfulness, my God. I will sing praise to you with the lyre, Holy One of Israel. My lips will shout for you, uh, for my lips will shout for joy when I sing praise to you. I, whom you've delivered, my tongue will tell of your righteous acts all day long. For those who wanted to harm me have been put to shame and confusion. What a good work for today. I definitely understand that there will be many of bitter times, many of heartache, many of being in the depths of the earth. God will come back and restore you. He will bring you back to life. He will comfort you. He will put to shame those who try to harm you and confuse you. So in your day to day, um, find refuge, find some time. Man, I, I love making these videos, if not just for the content, but just to reflect. And, and even I may hear myself say this in the future and be like, okay, at least this guy um, tried, made an effort. And we will continue to read and just be involved with this word. So again, you all have a great day. Try to get excerpt in. Uh, you see, I read one page and it took say five minutes um and that's just with careful reflection and just knowing that god loves you and he's part of your day-to-day -day and will restore you if there's any lacks or um insufficiencies and do know that for successes god is the way